Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll see one more concept in uh, discrete mathematical structures or MFCS. So in our previous session, we have seen how to find the logical equivalence between uh, two different formulas. So by using the truth table, right? So we can find the equivalent compound proposition for a given proposition by using a truth tables or by using law of logics that we have seen in our previous session. So in our uh, just previous session, we have seen the different laws of logic. So like uh, associative rule, distributive rule, De Morgan's rule, okay, uh, commutative rule, absorption, idempotent rule, identity rule, negation, double negation. So like this, we have seen a lot of logics. And with the help of those logics, we can also find whether two compound formulas are logically equivalent or not. So without constructing the truth table. So in our previous session, we have uh, seen how can we see with the truth table with the help of truth table. Now we'll see without using the truth table, how can we find the logical equivalent of given formula, right? Yes, let's start our session. So logical equivalence. That also without Truth table. Without truth table. So we'll uh, solve a few examples. I'll show that. So here two kinds of examples we'll see. One thing, so we can take LHS and RHS. So for example, so let us take some uh, LHS logically equivalent to RHS. So this will be one formula and this will be one formula. So if you can consider either LHS or RHS so that you have to derive this particular LHS to get RHS. This is one way. This is one way. Another way, LHS, RHS. So this will be derived to get unexpanded formula. So that we will derive this LHS until we get the formula which cannot be expanded further. Then again consider this RHS and this can also be derived to get unexpanded an expanded formula, right? Now, these two will be get compared. So if both are same, that means if both LHS and RHS derives the same formula which cannot be expanded further, then we can say both are logically equivalent. So these are the two kinds of problems we'll be facing. So one is get taking either LHS or RHS, deriving to get the RHS or LHS. If you take LHS, we have to derive until we get the RHS. Or if you consider RHS, we have to derive until we get the LHS. This is one way. Another way, we are deriving both the LHS and RHS to get the same formula, unexpanded formula. So in this session, we will see the example for both the cases. So let us start with this one, LHS equal to RHS, right? Yes. Let us take an example. Now let us see the examples. We will uh, we'll see whether this LHS is equivalent to this RHS and this LHS equivalent to RHS. So we'll first start with this one, right? So we need to use a different class which we have discussed in our previous session to get the RHS. Right? I am considering this LHS. So negation of P implies negation Q. And we know that a formula for implies, right? Apply implies formula. Implies formula. What is implies formula? P Q equivalent to negation P or Q. This is a formula. So apply the same thing here. So consider this one. So negation P or 
negation q negation p or negation q sorry negation p or negation of negation q yes negation p or negation of negation q so this becomes negation p or i am extremely sorry so here negation is there and here it will be negation p or negation q this one is correct right so here we are having a negation right so negation of negation p or q so we are considering this one as a p and q and we are applying the implies form and here you can observe this will be the de morgan's law de morgan's law so what is the de morgan's law negation of p um, what is here or q will be negation p and negation q so here negation of negation p negation of or it will be n and negation of negation q so here you can observe this is a double negation apply the double negation apply the double negation so what is the double negation so negation of negation p which will becomes p so negation of negation p p and negation of negation q q so you can observe p and q we can observe p and q right so p we are taking this one lhs and we are applying a different loss and finally we are getting the rhs so in this way without using the truth table we can find whether these two compound formulas are equivalent or not, logically equivalent or not now coming to this one consider this rh uh, lhs r tends to r so apply the same formula apply the same formula negation or so negation r r yes negation r or yes okay so check whether we can expand this one or not so we can't expand further so just keep it aside consider this one consider that one so what we can do so again apply the same implies formula negation of negation yes okay or negation r so from double negation from double negation this becomes yes or negation r both are equal no and we know the commutative law commutative law so what's the commutative law so commutative law means p or q is equivalent to q or p so apply this commutative law for this one so what happens negation r or yes you can observe both are same so this is the first case that is the second case so first case we are considering the lhs and we are deriving to get the corresponding rhs in the second case we are taking lhs we are expanding we are deriving and here we are not getting the rhs but we are getting some formula which cannot be expanded so we are keeping aside this formula and we are considering rhs and we are deriving start deriving the rhs until you get this same formula so this also mean these two formulas are logically equivalent hope you understood the two cases here we are not using any kind of uh, truth tables we are applying only laws so here we are applying implies de morgan's law double negation and here also we are applying this uh, implies rule double negation and commutative law so we we are we are having a lot of laws associative law is there a distributive law is there so we can also use those laws to get the equivalent right so let us see uh, two more examples so let us take this example so p implies q implies r is logically equivalent to p and q implies r so i am taking the lhs 
so p implies q implies r what we can do we can apply the implies formula so apply implies okay so which is p implies q is equal to negation p or q so you can apply the same thing negation p or consider this as a q so q r okay negation p or q and here also again apply the same implies formula because one more implies is there right so implies so p q equivalent to negation p or q so apply the same thing negation p or negation q or r negation p or negation q or r okay now so you can apply associativity rule associativity rule so which is nothing but p or q or r can be written as p or q or r similarly here also i'll write p or negation q or r so i'm just applying the associativity rule i'm just making this in this way now what we have to do i will apply here a de morgan's law de morgan's law so de morgan's law means negation of p uh, and q is equivalent to negation p or negation q so here you can observe negation p or negation q so i can write instead of this one this one okay instead of this one i will write this one so instead of this one i will write negation of p and q or r negation of p and q or r and now i will apply implies rule once again implies rule which is nothing but p q negation p or q you can you can observe negation p or q so consider this one as a single proposition and this one as a second one so negation p or q which will be p and q implies r so which is our rhs which is our rhs right so hope you understood so here we are not considering or we are not constructing any kind of truth tables so just we are applying the different laws of logics so here we are uh, we have applied the implies rule associativity de morgan's and also implies so that we are finding the rhs so in this way we can also find out the logical equivalent so last we will find uh, one more solution for one more problem so consider one more example so this is the lhs and this is the rhs so we can't expand the rhs so we can consider the lhs and let us derive whether we can get the direct rhs or any other formula which cannot be expanded so now i am taking this one so p or q or negation p and negation q and r so i will write the same thing as q or negation p and negation q as a one term and r right so you can apply de morgan's law so why i have combined these two means so here you can observe here we are having p or q so there might be chance of making easier if you forms the same thing here so i have combined these two terms okay de morgan's law so which is negation of p uh, or q will be negation p and negation q so i will replace this one with this one so p or q or negation of p or q 
N R. You can observe. This is one term. This is another term. This is another term. Now you can apply distributive law. Distributive law. So what is the distributive law? So P R Q and R is equal to P R Q and P R R. Same thing we will apply. So P R Q or negation of P R Q and P R Q or A. Okay, hope you understood. A or B, this is A or B and A or C. So the same thing we have applied. So P or Q and R distributed law. P or Q and P or R. The same thing I have written here. P or Q. That means A or B and A or C. That we have taken. And you can observe this one. Apply identity law. Identity law. So which is P or negation P is nothing but true. P or negation P will be always it will be true. So here it will be true. The complete case is true. True and you can observe P or Q or R. P or Q or R. <coughs> Excuse, me. <coughs> Excuse me. We know that. So if anything is end with T, we'll get the same thing. Okay, which is an item potential. So you can observe, see, for example, let us take a P and T. So if apply, see. P is true and false. Three T and T will get T. T F and T will get F. So that means we will get only this one. So it gives P or Q or R. You can observe this is our RHS. This is our RHS. Right? So here I am not using any truth tables. So without applying the truth tables, we are simplifying by using different laws. So one important thing is we should be very careful while remembering these laws because these are very, very important. So in our next session, we will be understanding about the normal forms. So there also we are supposed to use these laws. So these laws are very important. So either you can call it as a laws or I can call it as a rules, no problem. But these rules or laws are very, very, very important. Okay, so just uh, once go through the video of logic of laws and then you just practice with a more number of problems so that you will be understanding and you will be getting a very uh, confidence on solving any kind of problems. So only two kind of problems we have seen. So one is uh, taking the LHS or RHS and deriving the corresponding RHS or LHS. Second one, so deriving the LHS to one formula which cannot be expanded and keep aside, go with the RHS and again start deriving it to get the same formula which we got on LHS. So these are the only two possible cases. So we have in these examples, I mean in this session we have seen the examples for both the cases. I think it's very clear. So if you are still having any queries or doubts, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I'll try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.